there's the odd animal that will have black, but the, the true feature of the Clyde is the, is the white hair on the legs. The draft horse was bred to, to work in the fields, and I think nowadays we're probably uh, raising or breeding a, a different kind of a draft horse. It's more of a show, show draft horse. They've got much taller, much uh, uh, bigger horses than uh, they used uh, years ago. Uh, Canadian Clydesdales and are, you know, well in demand all over North America. Alan and his helpers used white gloves as they harnessed the Clydesdales so as not to fingerprint the brass and the patent leather. Some say harness decorations were put on in ancient times as magic charms. A shiny ornament was especially good because it could reflect away the evil eye. The Alberta Pool sponsored wagon the Clydesdales were about to pull was a magnificent thing, solid oak and weighing over 6,000 pounds. The seahorses and mermaids were carved by Antonio Galatel and are said to have taken over 1,800 hours to complete. A lot of pride goes into showing the heavy horse. Alan Gordeco's six-horse hitch of Clydesdales looked like a million dollars parading before the grandstand that evening. With their heads high and prancing gait, these Clydesdales seemed to know they were putting on a show. They gave every indication of enjoying themselves. <laughs> 